So starting today, PlayStation finally has the answer to Game Pass featuring brand new PS Plus packages such as PS Plus Essentials. This is the PS Plus that we all know and love. You get monthly free games, access to online multiplayer, be able to save your data into the cloud, just to name a few. But the next tier up, you have the PlayStation Plus Extra. So you have all the included benefits of the PlayStation Plus Essentials, plus more but you have a catalog of 400 ps4 and ps5 games to play this is going to include games from third party and first party you have death stranding returnal just to name a few and then you have the top of the line package the playstation plus premium this is going to include all the benefits of the playstation plus essentials and the playstation plus extra but now you have the inclusion of retro games so playstation 1 ps2 ps3 the ps3 games you have to stream them unfortunately so you have access to 340 additional games and to top it off you have game trials but in this video i'm going to be subscribing to playstation plus premium to see what is it about is it even worth the money if you're a current ps plus member you can upgrade your package to extra or premium for me it's thirty dollars and for the premium is forty dollars it depends on how long your ps plus uh, subscription i literally just renewed it back in march so it varies on your current subscription if you have one month later then they give you a little bit of a discount not too much but it all varies on your duration of ps plus you can actually check the sony website to see how much is going to cost for you after this year it's going to cost 120 dollars for ps premium or if i decide to downgrade to ps plus extra it's going to cost me a hundred dollars so a year and that's where this video comes into play because 120 dollars and even a hundred dollars it's a lot of money to spend every single year so here we are now this is only day one so i can't judge how many games we're going to have in the future now if you're watching this a couple of months later sony is going to add in more games so it's going to bring more value um, as time goes on the 120 dollars might not seem bad because you have access to over 500 games pretty much if you get the premium uh, or even way more games than that. So that alone might justify the price. Now on the future video, I'm gonna be comparing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate versus PS Plus Premium. You guys don't wanna miss that one. Make sure you guys click on that beautiful red subscribe button with notifications on. Make sure you allow all notifications. And while you're at it, may as well drop a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys think. Are you subscribed to PlayStation Premium or PlayStation Extra? Let me know. All right guys, so this is how PS Premium looks like. So instead of saying essentials, it'll showcase that it is premium. Or if you subscribe to extra, it'll showcase it is extra. So you have your game catalog, right? So you have all the category of games. Oh, what's going on? So you could download Sp Spider-Man Miles Morales, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Demon Souls, 2K, Ghost of Tsushima, Returnal. Just all the games you see here, you can be able to download. And remember, you can also download these games if you're a PS Extra subscription, uh, if you're subscribed to that. And yeah, so I would say this is a decent list. Uh, to be the beginning, Lost Legacy, I, I always wanted to play this. I'm almost beating Uncharted 4. I know, I know, I know. It's taking, taking longer than usual, but um, I'm probably going to download that next. Actually, we're going to download that now. So we're going to download that. And you guys are going to see it a little bit. You have Uncharted, the um, the PS5 remake, and all that stuff. So all these games here, you could be able to download. You actually have Pool here. This would be nice if you're chilling in the chat. And you just want to just chill out and play Pool. And yeah, you know, the list just goes on and on and on. Last Alive. I literally just subscribed to Premium. And I downloaded Returnal right away. I downloaded a couple of games. Death Stranding. Wait, they're not. Oh, I downloaded the PS5 one. The, the PS4 one is available. And it goes without saying, this is also going to be available on PS4. Elder Scrolls is here. That's basically it. So if you subscribe to Extra, those are all your games that you can get. But now with the Premium, you could be able to access the classic games. So classic games uh, such as PSP, PlayStation 1, PS2 games. So you have Red Fraction here, you have the Jack 3, Jack 2, Jack and Dexter. The only thing I found a little disappointing, where's SOCOM? When I think of PS2, I think of SOCOM, I think of uh, Twisted Metal. It would have been cool to see a Twisted Metal here. Uh, maybe even uh, uh, 
Final Fantasy, Derbs of Cerberus. Uh, I know that's a little, you know, out the ordinary, but those are the games. Those are my games. Uh, but unfortunately, all of these games, except for Tekken, Tekken 2, I'll, I'll download that. You know, we're going to download that. We got to test it out anyway. And we're going to download the PS5 version. And then another inclusion of premium, you have game uh, game trials. So you could be able to download Horizon Forbidden West. And you can only play this game for five hours. Depending on the game, you, you limit it to the time. Uh, I believe uh, Cyberpunk is five hours too as well. I'm curious to see how this game is going to play. I actually returned my Cyberpunk when it first came out because it was so dang glitchy. Uh, and I believe WWE is only two hours, which is a disappointment. It would have been nice to see the five hours. Um, and this is also good because instead of paying $70, the eye water is $70. You could be able to download the game and see if you like it. Because that's one of the cons of getting the PS5 Digital Edition. You're stuck up paying the, the $70 price tag. But if you get a PS5 with the disk drive, you could be able to potentially get it on sale, get it on eBay for a much lower price. So if you have a digital edition PS5, you might want to consider subscribing to PS Premium. And same thing with Uncharted, The Thieves, The Legacy of Thieves collection. That's only two hours. I think that's a little disappointment, especially considering there's only two games. Uh, it, it should have been five hours. So nonetheless, you have all your trials here. And I'm, I'm suspecting, well, Sony will add more games, more trials. But only time will tell. Of course, maybe I might do an updated video because I'm subscribed to the entire year of PS Premium. And um, another thing too, with Premium, you can also stream games. I'm not really a huge fan of streaming games, but you have that option here. But if you want to, if you want to play PS3 games, that's your only option is to stream it. There's no other way. You can't download it. Um, so it varies on your internet connection. Highly recommend you connect via Ethernet. Oh, they got Mortar Storm, Classic, Resident Evil 5. I haven't, I never played, I played the demo of Resident Evil 5, but I, I heard it was good. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins, uh, God of War 2, Injustice Gods Among Us, Lego Batman, Re Resident Evil 6, so on and so forth. Oh, they got Puzzle Fighter. This is another game. I actually purchased this game. Did I? No, I purchased it on the Xbox 360. I remember. And me and my brother, we played the hell out of this game. And and yeah, so many so many good memories on Puzzle Fighter. So yeah, here are all the PS3 games. And like I said, SOCOM, SOCOM 4 would have been cool. That was another game that I played the multiplayer beta. But then that's when PlayStation got hacked with the whole infamous biggest PSN network hack. So yeah, so that game was dead on arrival. Oh, Resistance 3. This is another game that actually was impacted by the uh, PSN hack back in 2011. Uh, Resistance 3, I think they had a demo. I played it. I enjoyed it. But then the hack happened and then I was like, eh. Oh, they got fear. Okay. Campaign only. And yeah, so on and so forth. I don't want to take up too much of your time here. Let's try out some games here. So I actually have a healthy amount of PS3 games here. So, so if what you're getting for $120... It's expensive, but you're getting a lot for your money. And only time will tell if Sony is going to add in more. Well, they will add in more games to the list. So I'm curious to see how this is going to stack up one month later. Okay, so my LAN cable is connected. All right, so I'm going to pause all the downloads, and we're just going to test out the streaming. I guess we could start off with Resident Evil 4, right? Classic game, too. Um, the remake is going to be interesting. And this screen is very similar to uh the playstation now which it is discontinued it is sad to see it go because alongside with that we also missed out on some games uh so originally we had mortal kombat 9 or 20 mortal kombat 2011 and unfortunately it didn't make its way up to playstation premium uh so it's unfortunate to see it go hopefully sony can add it back and yeah so this is a ps3 game so yeah so this is a ps3 game you can actually see the notification there <laughs> so it's like you're playing the ps3 right then and there um I, i'm actually gonna move my face cam right down here okay so on the party chat you're not gonna be able to see what game you're playing which is unfortunate i thought it would show like resident evil 4 whatever game that you're on so it's just gonna say on ps5 
this is a PS3 game, so you can't you can't expect a lot. You know, games at the time was running sub uh, 720p, barely running 1080p. So you gotta give it some slack. You know, this game was always weird with the mechanics, but latency is not bad. So I'm pressing the aim button. You know, let's let's shoot some zombies. We're gonna we're gonna get right into it. Who's excited for that uh, Resident Evil remake, Resident Evil 4? Looks nice, but play this game so many times. I actually never beat this game, guys. Wow, don't kill me in the comments. But I played it a handful of times, and I remember seeing this cutscene over and over again. Uh, excuse me, sir. All right, so let's kill. Yo, I don't like. Oh, yo, I don't like this game's aiming, bro. How you? Yo, it's it's not the streaming, it's the controls, man. All right, uh, how do you shoot your gun? Oh wow, you gotta shoot with with square. So I'm actually gonna move on to the next game. Uh, so, so far, the latency is not bad. It's just that game controls were pretty dumb. And if you, whatever game you started streaming on, it's going to appear right there on your home screen. Now, it's not going to take up any space because you're literally just streaming a game, but you have quick access right here on your home page. And I'm telling you guys, this is going to be the future of gaming. PlayStation Now wasn't that bad because I did test it out and it wasn't really any lag, but this is a bummer for most people because you got to have really good internet. I have gigabit, so this is gonna vary on your internet speed. Okay, nah, this is actually the gameplay. So, like, just me moving around, jumping. Let me see. No lag or no delay. So this is just, this is pretty incredible. Of course, the graphics didn't really age that well. <laughs> yeah, the graphics look terrible. The classic games. Uh, oh, we actually gotta. We actually gotta finish downloading this. See, look. Let me show you how fast my internet is. This is saying seconds. <laughs> so yeah, for the most part, if you're playing PS3 games, you will have to actually stream the games. Certain regions are different. Like it's something called the PlayStation Plus Deluxe, where they got rid of the PS. Uh, or the streaming functionality altogether, but you can still download uh, classic games. Uh, but PS3, you're just limited to streaming. Okay, so let's test out this out. <laughs> let's test this out. And same thing here. So the select is on the left side, and the start is on the right side. Yoshi Mitsu. Yeah, I used to pick Yoshi Mitsu. Oh, Versus Law. I don't know how you play this, guys. I'm just playing just to see how it moves. All right, so you just back to block. I'm getting swimming. I'm trash. I I'm not even doing no combos. Uh, what happened if you? Uh oh, okay. So yeah, this is what I wanted to see. So if you press the, if you press the um the options button. Not the start button. You can actually go back. You can rewind and you can use the touchpad to rewind back. So if you messed up somewhere and you want to play that portion again, you can do so. So I could rematch that match, uh, re rematch law once again, and I could be able to play right where I left off. Now, keep in mind, you can't fast forward. So once you, once you rewind, that's it. So you can't go, you can't fast forward. Um, of course, you can load and save because, you know, back in the days, you couldn't really save games like that. I mean, you can, but very limited. Oh, what was that? All right. <laughs> Man, that was even a better gameplay than before. So, and this is going to oh, and this is going to translate to all classic games. Now, the only thing PlayStation is missing, we need quick resume to be able to swap back and forth that would have been really cool to have 
So with PS3 games, you cannot use the rewind functionality because you're streaming a game. So I covered, all right, so I covered the classic games, the cloud gaming. I showcased the catalog of games. Basically, once you download the game, it's gonna play just as the same. It's not gonna be nothing new. <laughs> Pretty much, it's gonna be exactly the same. Uh, just to put in retro perspective, um, well, I got this still pause. I'm gonna resume this. It's gonna play just like as you would purchase the game. So now I wanna test out the game trials how the game trials work exactly all right guys so everything has finished downloading so returnal i could play this with no problems no trial this is game this game is mine as long as i'm a playstation extra or playstation premium subscriber oh and that haptic feedback on this game is amazing so i actually did play this game when it first came out so but really where things get interesting the game trials so once you start this up which i am going to play the trial oh they give you the timer right there so enjoy the trial any purchases made during the trial will be available with the full game purchase and you can view the game of course and you can purchase it for 70 bucks which is crazy uh and yeah you can play it um oh i'm back to eternal so they just give me that warning so we're going to start the trial Come on, guys, like, like this video right now because this could be a good game. And normally I like to get comfortable, full, put my full energy into the game because this is only two hours here. Yo, it's been a minute since I did pick a play on this channel. See, this is why I like game trials because a game like this, I don't know, but but after after playing it for a good 10, 20 minutes now, it's not too bad. Kind of kind of give me a little bit of Borderlands Borderlands vibes. Yo, imagine they give us Ragnarok, a part of a PS Premium or Extra for free, which I know they're probably not gonna do. <laughs> If they give us a trial for it, at least, I think that would be pretty good. I see them doing a trial, maybe. If you're playing a game and you're stuck, forget about it. If you're stuck on that game, you're wasting your, your, your game trial. Oh, what's that? Oh, these are battles I gotta shoot. Ah, that's where I gotta go. I'm actually enjoying this game. See, this is, this is the beauty of game trials right here. I'm actually enjoying this pretty relaxed right now all right let me quit the game see if it shows anything it should bring it back to exactly where i left off all right so we're gonna close the game and we're gonna start it up again okay so yeah it does show you how much time you have remained in um and i'm sure once you have zero once you run out of minutes it's not gonna let you it's not going to let you proceed if you just try to view the game and that's it to purchase it for $69. So I really don't have to play the whole thing right now. Um, and besides, I really do want to get this video out as soon as I can. But for the most part, that is PS Premium in a nutshell. Of course, the game catalog is really the star of the show, honestly, because you could be able to download these games and pretty much everything else is essentials that you know and love with PS Plus. Time to answer the million dollar question. Is PlayStation Plus Premium worth it? Or even the PlayStation Plus Extra? First things first, you got to ask yourself, what games do you play? You know, there's people out there who only play 2K, Call of Duty every single year. They don't care about any other game but those two games. If you that person, keep your PS Plus. Keep it the essential because, well, you're going to need essential to play online. And you're probably going to be perfectly fine with the monthly games. This is not going to really be worth the money for you. But if you're a type of gamer that likes to play new games, story mode, you're changing games every single week, you definitely want to consider getting PS Plus Extra, not Premium, Extra. And here's why. The Premium is going to offer the classic retro games. Maybe you don't care about those games. Maybe you didn't grow up with them. Uh, you know, you've been there, you've done that. Those games didn't age well. In the PS3, you got to uh, use cloud services and you got to use the cloud. So you probably don't care about that, but you care about the PS5 games and the PS4 games. And PS Plus Extra is going to give you the catalog of those games. That's the one I recommend. 
Now, in terms of PS Plus Premium, I would say this is for people who grew up playing PlayStation games since the very beginning, PS1, PS2, PSP, PS3, all the PlayStation games, the premium is pretty much the way you should go. It is quite unfortunate how Sony didn't find a way to support PS3 games to play on the PS5 instead of using the cloud and all that stuff because not everybody's going to have good internet. So that is quite unfortunate, but premium is for if you grew up with PlayStation, you grew up the rip, you know, you love a game and you want to revisit those times and those memories. Premium is pretty much that selection. And in terms of the game trials, it's not going to really matter too much because chances of you're probably already played Returnal, Horizon Forbidden West, or even Cyberpunk. If you're a true gamer that's constantly playing these games, you already probably play those games already. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know this video is super duper long. If you watch it all the way through, you guys are the real ones or maybe some of you guys probably just skim through the end just to see my final conclusion but nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching drop a like on this video comment down below which one would you subscribe to essentials uh extra premium let me know down in the comments down below make sure you guys click on that beautiful red subscribe button with notifications on and other than that it's your boy pops and i catch you guys on the next one